Welcome to Virtualize Everything. Today we're going to be installing Docker in an LXC container on Proxmox. Now we don't do a lot with Proxmox and Docker together. We did make a video back in February on this and I see some stuff has changed. So I wanted to remake this video to show you. Rather, not much has changed in Proxmox, but the way we do things has changed a little bit with, as we learned, some of the new options inside of the Proxmox web interface. We have to do less in the command line, and we can do more in the web interface, which just makes things easier. So with that, let's get to installing Docker in a Proxmox okay, container. So we've logged into our Proxmox web interface. Now the first thing we need to do, make a container. And I'm going to breeze through some of this, explaining only the options required for making the container for Docker use, because we are going to have to have have some custom configurations. So the first thing we need to do is come up here where it says create CT. Now at create CT we're going to enter our name and then password just like normal and then we want to make sure nesting has been checked. It should be checked by default but make sure it's been checked and we can hit next. For this video we're going to use Ubuntu 22.04, one CPU, and 512 megs of RAM. Now it's important to note we can reconfigure this and change this as needed later on. I'm choosing DHCP. This might not be the right option for you. So now that we have our container created, we need to go in and make some more configuration changes. So select your container and go to Options. Now at Options, here under Features, we're going to click Edit, and we're going to turn on this key CTL and press OK. Now, at this point, we're ready to start the container and begin working with it to install Docker. So to start the container, we hit start right here, and then we're going to press the console button. That's going to load a separate window, and we'll be right back with that window so we can begin the installation process now of we have Docker. Our container loaded, and we're in our console view. First thing we need to do is log in, and we should run an APT update. All right, so it looks like all packages are up to date so we can begin installing Docker. Now, these commands I'm copying and pasting will be provided for you in a link, probably to the Virtualize Everything blog, and then I'll include a sublink to the Docker documentation for Ubuntu. So the first command we need to do is to install some prerequisite software we need to run in order to install the repository that Docker uses to host their software. CA certificates, Carl, GNUPG, and LSB release. Y, enter. All right. Now we need to make a directory for our keyring, mkdir-p forward slash etc forward slash apt forward slash keyrings. Now let's use curl to download the certificate and now we're going to use echo to place the repository command where it's needed. Let's run update one more time and it looks like we have a problem. So it looks like the problem I had was a typo. I fixed it by rerunning the command. So let's continue moving on with the installation. apt install docker ce docker ce cli container.io docker comp compose again and again I'll provide a link to all of these commands both in my blog post at virtualizeeverything.com and the post that docker has made on their site for ubuntu okay so docker should be installed let's run hello world to verify that docker is working correctly docker run hello world there you have it there's docker running successfully in an lxc image on a proxmox server i'll be back shortly to show you a little bit more about how to get started okay. using Docker. we've run a process on docker let's look at how to see what's running on docker and how to see what has run on docker so as you can see in the lower part of this screen, we're going to use the two commands, docker ps and docker ps-a. Let's take a look at them running now. As you can see here, docker ps is the command to see what's running now. And if we add the dash a command, we can see that we've run the hello world container twice here on docker. With that, now we know how to see what's running and how to see what has run on docker. So now that we know how to see what's running and what has been running in docker, let's take a look at the command to remove the container. So we're going to run the command docker rm and then followed by the name. In this case, we're going to remove this sweet banal. 
Now, if we run a docker ps-a, you can see that we've removed the docker instance of sweet banal. So to create a new container, we can use the command docker run and then the name and the version that's provided for us on Docker Hub. So in our case, let's run Ubuntu and let's download the latest version. Now, if we run docker ds-a, we can see that we've run or downloaded and set up a container of Ubuntu in the latest version. And we can communicate that with that using bash. More on that in an upcoming video. All right, so let's look at what images we have now. And to do that, we can run docker images and you can see that we have the hello world and the ubuntu image now if we were to if we wanted to restart say our hello image that we ran earlier in this video and we used the same command docker run hello world we there but then when we go to our ps-a you can see that we've made a whole new container now that's pretty annoying in a lot of instances if we want to just rerun our same container so to do that we use the command docker start and then the container name now if we went to the docker ps-a you can see that we haven't created a new container. So with that, it concludes our Docker introductory tutorial on using Docker and installing Docker on your Proxmox server inside of a container. Stay tuned for a few more videos coming out about Docker. After all, Docker is a virtualization tool. As always, have a good night.